It's time for CIBL Biz Tips, bringing you actionable strategies to grow and improve your business. Prepare to become civilized. What's up, Central Illinois? Welcome to CIBL Biz Tips, where we bring you concepts and strategies to help grow your Central Illinois business. Today, we've got Nick Gentile and John DeFreitas from Town & Country Bank. They are commercial lenders. This is our second session with Nick and John, where we're talking about how to start a podcast. So last session, we talked a little bit about how to start your podcast, you know, coming up with a name, coming up with a script. I guess we didn't really answer the question about a script because we told you we don't use one. We just kind of made it up as we went. And then we got into um, what equipment to start with and how to keep it kind of on a shoestring budget and what we recommended as far as microphones go. So John and Nick today, what's your, what are some more questions you have about the uh, starting a podcast? So I see, obviously, we're on Zoom now, and uh, so that was a big question of mine. I, I've seen your guys' other podcasts on YouTube, and we definitely want to do a video podcast. So how does that work? How, what are you doing on your end to use Zoom and to make this function so that you have a podcast and a video? Good question. So uh, Garrett and I have tried, I don't know if you remember, Garrett, we tried a platform called... Uh, Riverside, I think, yep. Riverside.fm. It was the very first thing we used, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Um, just because we had some recommendations with other people and and um, there was a free version where you could record like 40 minutes or 60 minutes free and we just really didn't like it. Um, it, it was clunky. We were used to Zoom because, like we said, we started it early pandemic days and everybody knew how to use Zoom. Everybody had a Zoom account set up already. So it just so happened that we're like, just use Zoom. It's easy. People know what Zoom is. And we've never, we've not moved away from it since. So the way you can use Zoom is just like you do if you invite someone to a business meeting. You send them the invite. They'll log on. Um, you have, you just start talking. But the main thing is um, make sure you hit the record button and make sure you get permission from the other people. Obviously, if they're coming on a podcast, they know they're going to get recorded. But we've got a, I guess, a scheduling tool where we ask a, a few questions about, you know, are you okay recording, sharing your information, kind of as a waiver. I know it probably wouldn't go too far in the uh, court of law, but at least people are understanding we're recording them, video and audio, and we'll use it for promotional purposes for the podcast. So, yes, Zoom, you can record it directly to your computer or there's also a way you can record it to the cloud. And I don't know if that's like a Zoom cloud where you can buy space or something like that, but we record it directly to um, to our computer. And I have a, a, a drive, like a USB drive that we save all our podcasts to that we can use for uploading and all that stuff. But there's a ton out there. There's a ton. Riverside is popular because it records the videos like, the video that you see here from zoom is one video riverside does something like they it would have four separate videos so if we just wanted to do a video of nick talking about something we can cut we can have just nick's face on the video and not all four of us so there's different features to different platforms but zoom everybody's used to it it works we've rarely had any issues we've had a few glitches here and there with the internet speed that we've had to edit through but we've never had to completely wipe out a podcast recording because it didn't record well through Zoom. It's it's worked for us. Speaking of cutting up the videos and, and doing the actual editing of the videos, but for something like this show here to make smaller clips, what mm -hmm. software do you recommend to, to accomplish that? Well, I'm going to turn this over to our editing department. That's Derek. Go ahead, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> so editing-wise, when we first started... I used a free program that I think has now is no longer as free as it used to be. Um, it used to be called Kapwing, K-A-P-W-I-N-G. And I think now you can still use it for free, but your video has to be less than seven minutes, which obviously usually doesn't work for the podcast. So I found a program. It's a software called OpenShot. It's a free software. 
as far as I know, it's safe. It's not done anything to my computer yet. I've had it for two and a half, three years now. Um, if you're using a work computer, you probably want to get permission to download it before you start using it. But it's free. It's easy to use. Um, I will say it is a pretty slow, like you can edit it pretty quickly, but it takes a while to download the edited video. So what I always do is I'll, I'll like edit one in the morning, start downloading it, and I'll just do my regular work as it's downloading. And then it's done within 15, 20 minutes. And then we're moving on to, to all, you know, uploading it places. So open shot is what I use. There's a ton of stuff out there. I mean, people use like the Adobe uh, platforms. You can even outsource it. If you've got funding, you can outsource it to a third party that does podcast management for you. And those are pretty expensive typically. But if you've got the funding, if you've got sponsors, or if it's, you know, if it's your business that you want to invest money into and you have a podcast, you can probably find someone that will will do it for a fee. Um, but for us, we try to stay on a budget and uh, open shots free. It just takes a little time. And you mentioned that scheduling software too. Um, can you remind me what that's called and and yeah. explain the benefit of, of using that? Absolutely. So Calendly is the app we use for that. And we don't just use it for the podcast. Garrett and I also use it for like Scheduling setting all meetings our meetings. For, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. For business purposes or for, um, you know, if we want to meet, if Garrett and I are working remotely and we want to talk about something, we'll just, we'll send the Calendly link yeah. and you can schedule. Basically what it does is it syncs with your work uh, calendar. So ours is Outlook. It syncs with our Outlook calendar. So it can see when we already have stuff scheduled. So it schedules around your current schedule and shows your guests or potential guests what dates and times are available to record yeah. a podcast. So all we have to do is send a link, say, hey, Nick, hey, John, here's our scheduling app. Feel free to find a date and time that works best for you. They go in, find a date, put their information in. It sends both of us, sends Garrett and I and the potential guest a link and a calendar invite. So, yeah, so it's if you know that like, yeah, for us, like we know there's certain days that we typically want to do that. Or, you know, if I know ahead of time that say the next few Thursdays, I've got something going on. I'd be like, hey, Derek, we need to adjust the the link here. So we're not overstepping and scheduling something over and amongst what we have going on as well. Yeah. Yeah. It, it helps it make it, 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 it's more automated. So you're not going back and forth with someone saying, hey, I have Monday the 14th at 8.30 right. a.m. open. Does that work for you? Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay. How about you know, yeah. the Wednesday on the, on, you know, it, it takes that out of it, send them the link. They find a date and time. Usually we get, once we send the link, we have within the next 30 minutes, we've got a podcast yeah. scheduled. So it's very handy. There's a paid version and a free version, free version. So you can set up different calendar um, purposes with the paid version. So like I've got the paid version, I, I have four different calendar options. Um, one obviously is the podcast, but I've got some other business options in there too. Um, but the free version, if you just want to do it for podcast guests, you can download it for free and you've got a free app to schedule your guests with. Nice. Another good thing with that, um, this'll, this'll kind of be our last one before we wrap up this, this session, but you can download, um, a contact list then from, from Calendly. So it'll have your spreadsheet. So if you want to send an email blast to all the people who have been guests on your show, you can download a, what they call it, a CSV file or something, upload that to email marketing and send out a blast. So that's pretty handy. Wow. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. All right, Garrett, anything else on scheduling nope. apps or I, zoom? I, I think you've got her covered my man. Okay. Well, that's it for today. Um, until next time, y'all have been civilized. We'll see John and Nick here in the next session here soon. Take care. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Central Illinois Business Leaders Podcast. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash CIBL podcast. You can also follow us on LinkedIn. Don't forget to subscribe and leave us a review. It's the civilized thing to do.